Welcome to Naresh Technologies. I am Bangar Raju and this is the continuation uh, video of our ASP.NET series. In the last video, I have just been explaining about how to run a web application through IES or how to work with the IES. So, how to install the IES on our computer, how to run our pages through the IES, this is what I explained. So, today let us see how to develop a web application and run it on, a, on our computer, fine. See, to develop a web application, Microsoft provides us two different project templates. One, a ASP.NET web application project template and the second one is a website project template. First thing is ASP.NET web application and the second thing is a website project template. So, let us get started with Visual Studio. See, I am using the Visual Studio 2017 enterprise version, the latest version of the Visual Studio 2017 right now. And uh, in this, let us see how to develop a, uh, a web application. Go to your file menu and in the file menu, you will find an option called new website, new website. And this option can be used for developing a web application. This is one option. Another option is also there. When you generally open uh, whenever you are just trying to create a new project, whenever you are trying to create a new project, okay, you will be finding app in the new project window, you will be finding app, see in the, under your language visual C sharp, select web, if you select web you will find ASP.NET web application dot net framework, ASP.NET web application dot net framework, okay. So, this is what you can just use, either you can use a website or you can use a web application. In this video, I will just tell you how to use a website and develop a web application, okay, fine. Let us go to file menu, new website. When you go for using a new website, first choose your language as Visual C Sharp and here you will find ASP.NET uh, empty website, ASP.NET forms website, this is Razor that is nothing but uh, ASP.NET Core, we have different options. Either you can go for using ASP.NET empty website or either you can use a ASP.NET web form site, okay. So, let us choose an empty website means it is not going to come with any uh, web form setup. So, now when you select this in the bottom, it will ask you about a web location. It is going to ask you about the web location. What is this web location? In the web location, it is just going to ask you where exactly our web application has to be stored or running, okay. So, it has a file system option, HTTP option, FTP option. What is file system? Actually, in the last video, I was telling you, you need to run your web application under a web server like an IES, IES web server. So, in such scenarios, in such scenarios, we require IES to be installed on our computer. But frankly, even if IES is not installed on our computer also, we can run our web applications on the local machine. What is that? Even if a web, uh, a web server IES is not installed on our computer, we can still run our web applications on the local computer. How is that possible? That is possible by using a IES Express version. What is the IES Express? IES Express. IES Express is a web server that comes along with your Visual Studio. When you install Visual Studio on your computer, along with that the IES Express also will be installed on your computer. So, without installing IES web server explicitly on your OS, you can take the help of the IES Express and run your ASP.NET applications on the local machine. So, now I am choosing a file system mode. Whenever I use file system, your application will be running on IIS Express. With the help of IIS Express, you are going to run this. So, in this scenario, so where to store this? You can specify your location where you want to store this. I want to store this application on the D drive. I want to store the application on the D drive. And on the D drive, I created one folder in the last uh, last video that is ASP samples. I want to store it here, ASP samples and select the appropriate folder and you can click OK. 
so it is going to be stored for you under ASP samples um, folder and on that we are just going to create it okay we can give a name we can give a name d asp samples is a folder uh, under the cloud is given name for our site so let us give the name as first site first site and click on the ok button and once you click on the ok button the site gets created so creating a project first site fine so this is an empty website so nothing will be present open the solution explorer and in the solution explorer you can just see here so we have a first site and there is a right nothing present right now under this so now what you will do right click on the site and go for add add a new item and in the add new item choose an item called as web form what is a web form web pages in asp.net are called as web forms web pages in asp.net are called as web forms and the extension of them is going to be dot aspx the extension is going to be dot aspx okay so this is what and now a name is given for the appropriate thing if you want to leave the same name no issue or otherwise you want to change the name change it sample page okay I am just going to create a sample page and click on the add button. Yeah, you can just notice it. It has created your sample page.aspx and this is an ASPX page. So, going to contain HTML, yes, it is going to contain some HTML code in it, but still under this we can write our ASPX code. How do you write the ASPX code here? Use percentile. And inside of this, you can just write your ASP.NET code. Response dot write first web page. My first web page. A simple message like this and run this. How to run? Just simply run your code by choosing the browser. See on the top, you will be having an option to choose the browser you want here. Okay, a Firefox browser, Internet Explorer, a browse with, you can just go for other browsers which have been available for you. Okay, but still you can choose a browser, whatever you want. So, I am just using a Firefox browser and going to run it. You can run under IE itself, no issues. Yes, you got your output, you can just see my first web page. You can run it even in IE. You can just choose your browser like IE here. Internet Explorer, my first, my first web page, fine, my first web page. So like this, we have a chance to run under any browser you just like. So this is how you are going to create a, a simple web application by using a website project, okay. And here, let me just close this. Again, let us create, again go to file menu, new website, Visual C sharp, again I want to open a site, again I want to open a site, is brought empty website, but now come below, you have an option, file system and the next option is HTTP mode. What is HTTP? If you are giving HTTP, your website is not going to run under the local IES or the IES web server. Where it runs? It runs for you directly under the IES. Directly under the IES. It is not going to run under the IES Express but will be running under IES. So, you need to just uh, specify local host and after this, after this, you just require to give a name to your project. Second site. Second site click OK. Again, let us right click add a web form. I am giving the name sample, same sample.aspx. Let me run this. Uh, percentile response dot write my first web page created in 
local IS, local IS, okay. I am just going to write some message, run this. My first web page created in local IS and the previous one, if you notice, the previous one what we have, just closed it, let me reopen that first site. This is the second site and the previous one is the first site. Let us open it again. Yeah, this is the first site. So, this is a first site, okay. Uh, Let us change the message here. My first web page created in IS Express. I created the first site in IS Express and I created the second site in local IS, okay. So, if you run this, so what I was trying to tell you is, you can either run it under local IS or you can write run it under IS Express. Local IS, compulsory IS should be installed on your computer first. Under the OS, the IS should be installed, okay. But if at all you are going to run IS Express, you do not require to install IS separately on your computer. That comes along with your Visual Studio, okay. If you just see the difference, this is a URL when you are running under IS Express. HTTP localhost 56085 sample page and if you are running under local IS, this will be the URL, this will be the URL. So, what is the difference? The difference is the local IS will, will provide you a port for your site 56085, it may not be the same for you, it can be different for you on your system and under that directly your page runs, okay. So, here in the second case, in the second case, last class I explained you by default, in the last video I was explaining you by default, IS contains one default website and on the website we will create a virtual directory and we can run, okay. So, in the second case same thing is happening, this is a site already which is created localhost, on that particular site a virtual directory is created called as second site and under that my sample dot ASPX is present. Okay. And in this case, it is directly going to create a site, it is directly going to create a site and runs the site for you over there. INET MZR, you notice that a virtual directory gets created with the name called second site on the IS. So, if you open the local website, sites, default website we have already and if you remember in the last video, I created one site called as a test app and now uh, a virtual directory created called second site. Earlier, this is a virtual directory we created explicitly and this is a new virtual directory that is created through Visual Studio. Like this, we can just run it in any of the two different ways, either like this or either like this. Generally, the first case, it is okay for development of an application. It is okay for development of an application and you can use it only from the local computer, but cannot be used from a remote computer. From a remote computer, I cannot connect to IS Express and access the pages from there. But the second one what I am showing you, so this can be accessed from any other computer connected with the machine, connected with the machine within the network, anywhere you can just access it, okay, local IS or the IS Express. So, if you do not have local IS installed on your computer, no worries, you can simply still run your application on the IS Express, okay. So, this is how you are going to do in a website, a website how you are just going to create, okay. Two options are available, fine. Let me also show you an ASP.NET web application. Next, I will tell you what is the difference between website and web applications. So, let me reopen Visual Studio again, open the new project window. And in the new project window under C sharp select web and now select ASP.NET web application, okay. And give a name for your particular thing. Uh, I am giving the name as first web app, first web app and asking the location where you want to save it. So, I am going to choose my location as D drive. ASP samples and if you remember the first site what I created is also stored in the same location and here I am just going to specify this and click on the OK. And now it opens a window asking you 
asking you about this particular thing. What is it? In MTR, web form project, MVC project, web API, single page application, Azure API app. So, choose MT. This is the same thing what we selected there. We can select web forms also, no issues. Choose MT. Come below. Add folders and core references to web forms. Just go for web forms. So, the required references will be added for you automatically and click on the OK button. Okay. So, this is uh, our solution and our project first web app and now under this we can just right click add a web form add a web form directly you can select and add a web form it is asking web form 1 you want to give a name just let us give sample page and you click on ok so response dot right my first web page created in created by using by using a web application project that is okay but right now remember now also your application will run under IES Express only my first web page created by using uh, web app project in IES Express. Now also your application will be running under IES Express only. Okay. Let us check it out. Run this. Oh, we did not end the statement with the double quote. I got it. Now it is running under IS Express. See, you just see here it was running under IS Express, and right now see this is a URL. And if you notice the URL, if you notice the URL, the URL looks very much similar, very much similar like the URL what I showed you earlier. It is going to be exactly in the same way. See, localhost colon 56304. Are here you will doubt here is a different number, different number. And you remember, you won't get the same numbers on your computer. You can get different because it is going to allocate a port for running the applications. It is going to allocate a port for running the application. What is the port number it allocates is not in our control. IS Express allocates a port for it to run this. Now, the web application is also running under IES Express. Now, you will have a doubt. How can I run it under local IES? Do we have a chance because we did not select any web location or anything here. So, how can I run under, under? How can I run under local IES? So, if at all you want to run this under the local IES, if at all you want to run this under the local IES, what you are going to do is, watch. Open the Solution Explorer. Go to properties under the project and here in the left hand side select the web and come below here it will ask you what is it? IS Express. What is that? The server where you want to run? IS Express. Okay. No, no, I do not want to run under IS Express. I want to run under local IES. You can just use the drop down and you can select local IES. And immediately you can see there is a change in the URL. There is a change in the URL and asking create virtual directory. So now it is going to create a virtual directory under our local IES now with the name first web app. Click on it. A virtual directory was created successfully. Save and again run your page. I got my output but now it is not running under IES Express, it is running under local IES. Okay, check out the URL. So, if you see the URL now, this is the URL. Same like here, see. What is it localized? And here a virtual directory created with the name as second site and here a virtual directory created with the name as first web app, sample.aspx and sample page.aspx. So, here 
we are opening this separately for running under IS Express and local IS. But if you come to web application project, you first create it in a local IS Express and afterwards you can just export it to the local IS and run. And you go and see there a virtual directory is created for you with the name as first web app. Open the IS manager and you can see a virtual directory created with the name as first web app and you select it, come here, you go for the content view, you can see this is your web app and this is a sample page what you just have created over there. So like this, you can just run it under, under IAS, local IAS or IAS Express, choice is yours. But you have two options again, websites, web applications. What is the difference? In my next video, I will tell you what is the difference between um, the ASP.NET websites and our web application projects. And thank you for watching the video. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Naresh IT.